Hi, Scott here. I wanted to do a brief little uh, walkthrough of my Pro Tools session from a couple of my songs from my latest record, Worried Mind. I thought it might be interesting to kind of break it down, the different tracks, to see what you're actually hearing um, and uh, to show what went into building up some of the songs. So the first song I want to start with is Seasons. I've got my Pro Tools session open here. It's a little bit messy, but uh, it works for me. This song was um, originally recorded with kind of like an emo uh, just like a straight ahead kind of rock tune. I had done two different uh, drum sessions for it and I still just wasn't, it was boring. It just wasn't coming across the way I wanted it to. Um, and so what I ended up doing was I ended up finding this loop and I'll show it to you right now by turning off all the plugins first. This is the the loop I found and I just looped it and it was a good tempo, 91 beats per minute. Actually, it may have been a little bit faster or slower and then I probably just beat detected it to whatever the tempo of my song was to begin with. Then I added the Ocean Way um, reverb to it um, to give it like a room sound to make it sound more raw. Then this transient shaper and there's another transient shaper here and this is from Softube. And this is taking away, adding a bit of attack and taking away all of that reverb. I don't know why I did that, but it ended up sounding kind of like a cool drum loop, but with that gated reverb sound. And then the Echo Boy is on full wet, which kind of inverts the beat and it lined it up to the song a little bit better. And then there's a duplicate of it, uh, which probably just has a little bit more room noise. Um, this tape effect I really like. Anyway. So it started with this beat here. And then a couple more percussion things added, tambo hits. Um, on the last chorus, there's congos uh, right here. And they have like a heavy delay on them tambourine and shaker and also what I added too was on the ending there's this vocal beats that go through the whole song which is like this uh, Korg vocal beats that goes through the Moog that kind of filters it a little bit uh, and then there's a duplicate vocal beat here on the right side that comes in on the last chorus and I like those because it it's just like a, it's digital percussion, basically what it ends up being. Here's all the drums together. Then there's a bass. And then a bass riff that comes in on the last chorus. Very straightforward. Um, the synths that come in, um, let's go to, let's shoot back to the acoustics for a second. So you can hear on the acoustics, um, this is basically um, a classical guitar finger picked with two mics, a uh, fathead ribbon and an AKG 414 BULS, I believe, and two mics on each, and there's two takes, one in each ear. So both mics are hard panned. And then there's like a bit of Decapitator and Filter Freak, uh, just kind of warming it up. That's how I like my acoustics to sound. Super soft and warbly like that. By the way, everything is going through this SSL stereo bus compressor ever so slightly. And then right now it's going through this high voltage audio uh, EQ 6S stereo bus EQ with just brightening it up and taking some of the mid out, the low mids out. Um, that stereo EQ wasn't on the final uh, mix because I didn't have it at the time. So the acoustic um, finger picking was written after I found the drum loop. You can hear it. It just, it's just picking with that kick. That was, I, uh, that kind of set the song into a new direction. Um, <clears throat> Oh, then uh, vocals, I'll show you the vocals before I get to those synth stuff and the electric guitars. So vocals, here's my dry vocal. All the stars. 
And then I have this Lush Verb, which is my secret weapon, and it's an, a setting on the Sound Toys effect rack called Large Lush Lush Verb, and it's 100% wet. All the stars. And it's just this infinite de uh, decay delay that sounds really, really cool, and it's just different than any other kind of reverb because it's not really a reverb. All out of line. And then I also put. Um, bathroom verb which is a, a bathroom from uad real verb fall into flame. here's just the bathroom verb fall into flame so that makes it sound like it's a real person in a real room which it was fall into flame. plus the lush verb so those are sends so i have my dry and start all over again my dry vocal so plus the lush verb plus the reverb. I feel so sad. Right at the instrumental, all of these synths kind of come in, so I'll show you what you're hearing. Um, I'll show this in another song maybe, but um, I'll do it now if I have time. So this is like, there's this Moog organ that I wrote. Very simple. Kind of like uh, old school grainy film. And I didn't like it, so I ended up putting this um, effect from, from Sound Toys again, the random whisper delays, and it creates this really cool... It just kind of delays it, pitches it, randomizes it, and just gives the song a little bit of life. There's another hook here that I thought I was stealing from Wilco on Jesus Etc. That's why it's called Jesus Etc. And it's this little hook here. It's only twice in the song. But I actually think it's the riff from Sorry from Justin Bieber. I can't remember which one it is. Either way, I copied it on the Moog. Here's a... Right at this point here, I'll show you what happens. So on the right side, there's an ARP playing the chords. Which I believe is random arpeggiator happening with lots of octaves. And it's going through a um, EHX Canyon pedal, which has like a, a shimmer delay on it. I, I, was, I was borrowing it from a friend. I don't have it anymore. And the same thing, just different octaves with the filter pulled back a little bit, slightly shorter decay time put together. So those are two different Moog parts. And they have Echo Boy on them a little bit and probably Probably some verb at some point. That's pretty much it. Oh, the, um, oh, and then, oh, there's piano. I do have a lot in this song, actually. Here's a piano played by Gareth Inkster. On, uh, that's two fat head ribbons um, on a uh, upright piano in my living room. Listen to this little hook here. That kind of gets buried in the mix. There's a high organ, which is just a Moog with like uh, some modulation. With a really long glide time. Or not all, no, anyway. Um, and then the last thing is the electric guitars. I had written these little things, these little plucks. which was me trying to copy Follow You, Follow Me from Genesis. And, uh, and then on that same electric sound, I ended up writing this riff that I really liked. So that comes in at the end of the song. There's a Fender Rhodes piano playing this little pulsating rhythm with a, it was going into a uh, space echo. And it's just me like hitting a few notes. 
kind of adds a bit of like urgency intensity towards the end and a last little easter egg here is recording this little downtown toronto iphone recording some guys playing the bucket drums and then they stopped playing as soon as they started recording but it's cool i liked having it at the end of the song and then the song fades out which a lot of people hate that songs fade out but i don't care that's it